Hi there, I'm Matt Easton of the channel Scholar Gladiatoria. I'm a historical fencing instructor, but very occasionally I talk about um, other types of weapons other than swords in my videos and um, general history as well. Now, um, I am not by and large a gamer, although regular viewers of my channel will know that I am a big fan of Mountain Blade, particularly the Napoleonic Wars um, version, which I do play fairly regularly, but sadly I don't have an awful lot of um, time to play other games. But recently, I have just started playing Battlefield 1. Now uh, my first impressions are it's a great game, it's um, quite addictive, the graphics are lovely, I like the mechanics of it, um, I like most of the controls, um, so it's a great game. I've been watching a few of the videos on YouTube, tips about how to get better, because currently I suck. And I want to state, state that absolutely categorically at the beginning of this video, that I am not a Battlefield 1 um, aficionado or expert or authority or anything like that at all. However, what I do know about to some extent are the weapons and um, the history and the tactics of the time. Uh, more specifically, the personal use of weapons, both firearms and also things like bayonets as well. Um, now, one of the things that sort of annoys me about this game and the reason I'm making this video is the thing which really dominates World War I warfare is things like this. Not specifically the SMLE, so those of you who play the game, or just those of you who know about firearms will know that this is a short magazine Lee Enfield rifle, Mark III Star, um, and this is an original um, one which I've recently acquired, dated to 1916, but with a replaced barrel on it and it's been refurbished, so it's in very nice condition. Um, but World War I, um, there are certain things in it which dictated the nature of the warfare, um, and one of those things was bolt-action rifles. Yes, there were other things. There were um, machine guns, obviously came into widespread use. Um, uh, you could say tanks and aeroplanes. I would say even more importantly than that, artillery actually, especially for the first half of the war, artillery really um, dictated a lot of how that war played out, not just in Europe, um, but even in the Middle East. Um, but bolt action rifles, for me, as far as the soldier, as far as the infantryman's concerned, are really, they are the default weapon of World War I. Now, this is made clear in the text of Battlefield I, but it's certainly not clear, and this is my gripe, this is my complaint, it is certainly not clear when it comes to the actual combat, at least in multiplayer, on Battlefield 1. The multiplayer combat that I have experienced so far, and I've tried various different um, the very different types of game um, uh, and um, conquest and all of those different options you've got, and it seems to me that the game is very much dominated by um, snipers with scopes, absolutely, okay, that's that's okay. Snipers with scopes, um, support weapons being used essentially as carry, carry around uh, machine guns, and submachine guns. Now, all of those things absolutely did exist in World War I. I wouldn't, dis I wouldn't dispute that at all. However, what the game designers have done is they've looked at all of the weapons that were available up until 1918, essentially, and they've crammed them into the game, with the result that the standard infantryman, uh, pretty much in at least in multiplayer in Battlefield 1, has a submachine gun. Now, while submachine guns did come around, did come about in World War 1, they didn't really, um, they didn't typify the style of combat and the style of warfare that we see historically in World War I. Instead, that was the bolt-action rifle without a scope. So I kind of feel that the game designers of Battlefield 1 have missed a trick. What they've done is they've created something with a sort of feel of history, although I've got to say it also annoys me that, um, at least in multiplayer, all nationalities get all weapons. So, uh, for example, you can be a British infantryman with a Mauser, or um, a, a German infantryman with an SMLE, um, or a BAR. Um, so, um, but that, that aside, I think the biggest flaw for me and for my enjoyment of playing the game actually, because it is set in a historical period and it is supposed to have a feel of that historical period, 
is that the combat is dictated very much by fully automatic weapons being carried around at running speed. Um, so, you know, Lewis guns, um, and I've got, I'm, I'm guilty of it myself, because if you're playing that game and you want to do okay, which I don't, I do really badly, but if you want to do well and okay, and you're not being a sniper or a marksman, um, then essentially you're running around with a fully automatic weapon. And that wasn't really what World War One combat was about. It was mostly about these, bolt action rifles without sights. So, to conclude without wittering on for too much longer, I just feel that the game designers of um, Battlefield 1 have made the weapon balance wrong. Yes, they should have some sub submachine guns. Yes, they should have machine guns. Yes, they should have marksmen or snipers rifles with scopes. However, all of those weapons should be very, very small in number and perhaps limited to only one of each in each team. Um, compared to the people with bolt-action rifles with iron sights, because this is what dictated warfare in World War I. And I'll be honest, coming from a background playing Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars, which is I enjoy hugely, I love it, it's got its flaws, it's a very old game, it's quite crude in terms of the graphics and stuff, but I personally would enjoy Battlefield 1 more if it actually concentrated on these weapons, if most standard infantrymen had bolt-action iron sighted rifles like this. To me, that would be a far more enjoyable game and also would give a better historical sense of what the warfare in World War I was like. Um, if you read accounts of um, trench warfare, it's dictated by bolt action rifles, a few machine guns, obviously, usually in fixed emplacements, but bolt action rifles and what they often, call, in Britain, we often call bombs, that is hand grenades. Okay, so a soldier should have two or three or sometimes even more hand grenades and a bolt action rifle. And I think, unfortunately, Battlefield 1, in the attempt to make it more like the World War II and modern warfare games that people, that gamers are more familiar with, have given too many automatic weapons to too many of the soldiers. Something to think about. Cheers, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow us on Facebook, you can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt, support us on Patreon or follow us on Pinterest. Thank you.